Welcome to Motorland, a podcast driven by AAA. Hello, LA, hello, take me anywhere. We're bringing you behind the scenes stories from some of America's great road trip destinations. I'm Jared Dienda, the voice of motorsports and auto events all around the world, and your wheelman here in Motorland. And I'm Michelle Donati from AAA. We're getting your vehicles road ready. Just takes a stop into one of our many local AAA auto repair centers. Michelle, have you ever visited the beautiful place, Sedona, Arizona? I mean, it's in my backyard. I love Sedona. I try to visit at least two to three times a year. Just under three million people visit the Sedona area every year. It's a mystical, fantastical, it's a vortex of the world. And one of the fun things to do there is take a Jeep tour to go off-road and see all the beautiful scenery. You know, of all the things I've done in Sedona, I have not yet done a Jeep tour. Okay, well, guess what? I think we got the hookup for you because our guest on this episode drives one of those Jeeps. But more importantly, he really knows the area and the history behind it. Are you ready? I have a feeling this could get bumpy. (laughs) All right, well, you better buckle up. Let's (laughs) ride. Joe Brazda, thank you so much for driving your Jeep through Motorland, man. You're welcome. Big Jeep energy. (laughs) That's where we're going right now. Big, big Jeep energy. Yep. (laughs) How many Jeep tours have you given? Rough estimate at about 1,500. Wow. I know those trails pretty well. So for somebody that has not been to Sedona, paint a picture. How would you describe the energy, the vibe, the landscape, all of it? Sedona is where two tectonic plates come together, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. See, in Sedona, you can stand on the Pacific Plate and look at a 2,500-foot wall that is the North American Plate. If you've ever driven up Oak Creek Canyon, this is 13 of the most beautiful miles you can drive on the planet, Oak Creek Canyon was not carved by Oak Creek. 50 million years ago, the whole Earth split open right there. It's a fault. But Sedona is covered in electromagnetic energy. And I would say, Joe, that you can feel that energy as you are driving into Sedona. Sedona is very unique in that, geologically speaking, is covered with vortex energy. So people believe that vortex energy can cleanse you or it can heal you. They use it in their spiritual rituals, all of this stuff. If you go out to an archaeological site, the Native Americans that inhabited this area for approximately 12,000 years believe that there are portals into different universes, and those portals exist all over the place in Sedona. So this creates a lot of skepticism. But the fact of the matter is, is that Sedona is covered with energy for, for some very basic scientific reasons. And if you don't believe in that type of thing, it might sound really weird, but if you've ever experienced anyone I know from any walk of life, they've all said the same thing. As you enter into Sedona, you feel the shift and you feel that energy. I'll be the skeptic a little bit. I fully believe I have the salt lamp behind me. I know. <laughs> I've got the crystals. I used to have the Tibetan prayer flags at my apartment when I was single. Like I'm I'm all in on this. I've had my aura red. Yeah, exactly. I'm all in on yeah, it. Yeah, I'll get I'll play skeptic. <laughs> You know, I'll just be the bad guy. Prove me wrong or prove somebody that's a little skeptical on the vortex and the vortex energy, Joe. I always make sure at one of our picture spots, I'm by what they call a twisted tree. A juniper tree, right? Junipers are very sensitive to vortex energy. So the first thing I'll do with a skeptic is I'll bring him to one of these junipers and then I will bust out my dousing rods. They're just copper rods, about 18 inches long. And I will stand and walk across an area where there's twisted trees and hold those things above my head, and they will start spinning circles. And then I'll say, now it's your turn. I want you to feel these things move in your hand. And every time when those things take off, it, the skepticism goes out the window. Now, how people use it, the application of this energy, you know, that, that is a whole other thing that creates a different level of skepticism. But I have another question along those lines is because I've heard that Walt Disney was inspired um, by Sedona, and there's Thunder Mountain in Sedona. Yep. There's Thunder Mountain in Disneyland. Yes. I think some of the trees, the, the twisted junipers, they remind me of some things you might see in, a, in the Disney park. So I didn't know if you had a perspective on that. So Walt Disney had a cabin at a place uh, in Sedona at the base of Thunder Mountain, between Thunder Mountain and, and Chimney Rock. Today, it's one of my favorite parts of Sedona. Right. So today, that is the Peace Park. And the Peace Park is covered with vortex energy. We know this now. But that's where Walt had his cabin. So he came to Sedona to write the movie Fantasia. He sat in his office every day looking at Thunder Mountain and said, I'm going to go back to Anaheim and make a ride. Then he went and did it. This is why we have Thunder Mountain railroads all over the place, because his cabin was at the base of Thunder Mountain. And that, that house eventually burnt down, right? Didn't it catch fire? I think it caught fire. 
And the property now is uh, owned by the city, but maintained by the Buddhist community. There's a Buddhist stupa. It's a type of temple. I love that stupa. There's also a Native American medicine wheel embedded in the ground there, but there's twisted trees all over the Peace Park. So the Peace Park is a great place to go if you want to really experience what Vortex Energy feels like. Yeah. Fun fact, I once took a um, guided meditation tour at the Peace Park exactly. and was able to meditate there, and it was wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. Again, that's how deep I am at <laughs> Well, come on up. I'll get you on. A, I'll get you on a Jeep. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> First of all, Arizona Safari Jeep Tours, who I work for, has by far the best Jeeps in Sedona. We have a fleet of converted gladiators. It's not just a Jeep tour. It's the Jeep tour. We are the number one activity in Sedona out of 174 activities, according to TripAdvisor. Sick. Awesome. <laughs> like I could get up there this weekend. Um, so when someone yeah. takes a Jeep tour and they say, hey, Joe, what do we do next? Because when I travel, that's what I do. If I have a really good experience with someone who's guided me on some sort of tour, I say, what else do I need to do here? What else does someone have to do if they're visiting Sedona for the first time? So I might point them uh to one of the Native American markets. There is a lot of shopping in Sedona. There's these markets that they set up in parking lots and you can get handmade arts and crafts that is very high quality and straight off the reservation. And you can speak to these people about who the craftsman was and, and the story behind that particular piece that you're purchasing. Another thing, Joe, uh, recently got married. Congratulations are in order. I got married in May. Thank you. And you had Sedona as a backdrop. Yeah. So my wife and I got married at the edge of a cliff that had about a 400 foot drop right behind us. And the view dropped away. The whole world drops away at your feet and you see all of Sedona behind you. So just an incredible place to get married. Wow. So your wedding photos have to be amazing. I've got the picture just for you. Show us the picture, man. Look at that. I mean, yeah, it's Sedona. I mean, it's it's stunning. It's incredible. I'm wondering if we can maybe share one of those on our Instagram so that our listeners could see it. Yeah, the picture is awesome. Beautiful bride, beautiful backdrop. I mean, it's a destination to to get married at, right? So Sedona is a destination for outdoor weddings. There are ceremony sites here that are only accessible by Jeep. Mm. So there are coordinators. When you choose your ceremony site, they will help you contract with a Jeep company like ours and bring your wedding party up to a place uh, where you get married that is spectacular and special and unique. Wow. Uh, hey, Joe, I have to ask, where's the best spot to go in Sedona to get the best selfie? The best selfie? Well... I would say that the most popular places for this is probably the Devil's Bridge, which is a big stone arch over a canyon that you can get on top of if you're not afraid of heights. Um, or you can go into Boynton Canyon and go up to the Subway Cave, which is basically a big red sandstone tube that's elevated that looks out over a spectacular valley. So you stand at the mouth of that and get a selfie. That's going to hit your Instagram page. Is that also known as the birthing cave? No, that's in Long Canyon. That's a different one. Okay. I've seen lots of Instagram selfies in the birthing cave as well. But I'll tell you something else. If you have an opportunity to come to Sedona at the end of October, beginning of November, we have a trail called West Fork. One of my favorites. Now, this is an Oak Creek Canyon. It is a side canyon. Mm -hmm. It's six miles one way. You cross the creek 26 times. But it's a deciduous forest following the creek. So in the fall, it explodes with color. It's like Vermont in there. But surrounding the deciduous forest is a ponderosa pine forest. And surrounding that is massive cliff formations. It's an incredible place to go at any time of the year. But if you can make it up there in the fall, when the fall colors happen, that's once in a lifetime experience. I was hiking one year I went and we were hiking on New Year's Day in Sedona. And like in the middle of, there was no one else around. We just heard a flute playing like out of nowhere. And I was like, is there like a deer going to start talking to us? Like it was a really crazy experience. I've also seen a wolf there hiking and have been lost on a hike. I, I've had some crazy experiences in Sedona. Oh, uh, what, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's how deep I am at this, Jared. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, Joe. I appreciate you doing the yeah. driving for us today. My The road might be bumpy, but guess what? You keep it smooth, and you got that big vortex energy, man. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Again, doing the driving on this edition of Motorland. You're welcome. Thank you. You know, Jared, Sedona is only about a two-hour drive from my house, and I am ready to go visit. It's been, I don't know, six months. Definitely need to start planning my next trip to visit soon. 
Well, Michelle, big thanks to you for coming with me to Sedona today. And of course, to our sponsor, AAA. And don't forget, AAA members receive complimentary travel planning services, either in the branch or by phone from AAA travel experts. Sedona, it's stunning. We have lots more road trips to take in season two. So click on that free subscribe or follow button. That way you'll be on board with us wherever we go here in Motorland. Hello, LA, hello, take me anywhere. Motorland is executive produced by AAA Mountain West Group cooperation with sound that brand hello take me anywhere written by justin sullivan performed by night shop by arrangement with terror bird media thank you for listening if you like it here in motorland please give us a rating and review and share with your friends i'm jared deanda may the road rise to meet you and the wind be at your back we'll see you again soon in motorland